A concussion is a brain injury caused by a blow to the head or a violent shaking of the head and body. It occurs when the brain hits the back or front of the skull, causing symptoms like headaches, confusion, lack of coordination, memory loss, and more. Long-term effects have been linked to people developing dementia, Alzheimer's, depression, and CTE. Contact sports such as football are seeing a surprising number of players being affected by concussions. With an estimated 3.8 million players being affected by it yearly, people are beginning to question if we should allow such sports to be played in schools. Well, I had a minor concussion. I was playing badminton um, about four or five summers ago, and I got hit in the head with a tennis racket, and I fell to the ground and whacked my head off of it. Um, I had a minor concussion, so I was only on bed rest for about a week. Um, pretty bad headaches. No, I laid down most of the time. Personally, I don't think we should get rid of it, but I do believe there are better ways to prevent it. The NFL has had many problems with concussions in the past. Back in April of May 28, 2014, former Miami Dolphins quarterback Dan Marino and 14 other NFL players sued the NFL over concussions, claiming that it had led them to negative long-term health conditions. As of recent, Rob Gronkowski suffered a concussion with his collision from Jaguars player Barry Church. You can't do that. It's the correct call. But I can tell you... Uh, Robert Stevenson, and I played football. Um... I don't remember a lot of it. Um, I remember I was looking one way and running um, kind of like horizontal to the way I was looking. And when I turned my head, a kid kind of just went down with his head and came up. And um, that's the last thing I remember um, vaguely. Um, I remember I did hit the top of my head right here. Um, so yeah, that's how I got it. I guess. Well, I was upstairs in my parents' room watching the Patriots game, and I wanted to get some water because I had a headache. And I went downstairs, and I completely forgot why I went downstairs. So I turned around and went back upstairs. And like, I remembered, and I went down again. This happened about two or three more times until my dad like really was like, what are you doing? You've done this three times in like the last five minutes. Like, What's going on? And um, that's when I thought, okay, maybe I have a concussion. So do you think as a school we should get rid of contact sports or? You know? No. So. No. I, no. That was my favorite part about playing football is the contact and, you know, despite the concussion and the effects after and, and all that, it's, it was such a great sport, you know, it taught me a lot about discipline and, and working hard for something, you know, and and I guess it's just a great sport, and you really shouldn't get rid of something that really can help a lot of people out. I know a lot of my friends have had concussions, and it's really funny because, like, you can say things and, like, they'll get it. Like, for somebody who hasn't had a concussion, like, oh, like, when I had mine, I, I you know, slept for seven hours a day, you know, because I just couldn't do anything else. And they, you know, somebody else would be like, oh, me too, like, I just, couldn't get up out of bed and because I just didn't know what to do with my, myself, so. I decided to sit down with Isabel Doherty, the girls varsity soccer goalie, and talk to her about her experiences with concussions. Um, so what has been your experience with concussions or other head-related trauma? Well, I had two concussions and my first one was freshman year and then I had one about a month ago. So how has that uh, concussion you had recently affected you? Have you had to make up work? How did you adjust? Um, I think that like when, when you're starting to come back to school and when you're starting to like try and do work again, mm -hmm. you start getting more like foggy and stuff. I like, when I like first started coming back to school, I would like, at the beginning of the day, I would be fine, and then towards the end of the day, I would start going, like, like in my head, I would just, like, be off in a totally different world, and I would, like, get lost in school, and I wouldn't know where to go, so. Um, have you had any friends or family members that have experienced concussions? Um, I've had a couple friends who have, but no one in my family has really. Nothing major? No. Do you think as a school um, that we should limit or get rid of uh, 
contact sports? I think that we shouldn't limit like sports and stuff. I think we should more of protect how you play them. Like mm -hmm. people should have to wear helmets in some sports and like more protect helmets or like lacrosse. Mm -hmm. Like some sometimes people wear helmets, some people mm -hmm. don't have to wear helmets. I think it should be mandatory for like anything. So you think there's some danger behind contact sports? Yeah, there's definitely like a risk factor of playing contact sports.